I mean, today, you know, solar with batteries is cheaper than natural gas in some markets. So anyway, the uh, uh, what? It's a good question, and I want to start with BC Hydro because we did a webinar on this last year, and they released uh, BC Hydro released its integrated resource plan and a ten-year capital plan. So where are we going? What do we expect for growth? And how are we going to spend money on transmission or distribution, generation, and so on to to meet that demand? And what they what they estimate is that we're going to see about oh two percent growth a year, and they're going to uh, they need more generation. Uh, but I think they've got thirty thirty two hydro dams, uh, which is why one of the reasons why BC is like ninety eight percent emission free electricity. So they're they're going to refurbish some of those dams so they have higher capacity. Uh, but they're also going to go revisit an idea that got. The, it was a very big political uh, kerfuffle back in 2017 because the previous government had uh, brought on, said, issued uh, power purchase agreements for wind and solar and run of river. And because the cost at that time, you know, say 2009 to 2017, the cost for those technologies was much higher than it is today.